Warning, this review may contain spoilers, strong language, violence, and content of a graphic nature. It may not be suitable for some viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Hi, welcome to Trick or Treat Horror Fest. My name is DJ Surreal with Descent Sundays. So today we're actually going to talk about Devil's Rejects. I think it's safe to say that uh, Devil's Rejects is probably my favorite Rob Zombie film to date. Um, I think the reason for that is that as much as I really did like House of a Thousand Corpses, um, the ending really did kind of ruin it for me and I think with Devil's Rejects, there's no point where I feel like I want more, or I was disappointed, or I, I, it didn't let me down at any point. I felt like it was consistent awesome all the way through. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's a pretty fantastic film. Uh, I really like the development of the characters and the development, how you feel about them. I mean, you have this scene um, you know, where the the Firefly family is escaping because the police have found, you know, all the all the bodies and everything and so they're escaping and and you know, they're on the run and they get to this motel and there's you know, they, they sort of push their way into um this traveling music act and the stuff that they put them through is just brutal and some scenes in that motel are really difficult to watch. Um, you know, there's this one scene where, where Otis has a gun on one of the, on one of the women and he basically kind of rapes her with it. Like, it's kind of brutal and uncomfortable and, you know, like, there's so much, so many, so many little tiny details that really add to the scene and, and just, you hate them. You... You know, Hoss, if I'm not mistaken, I, I think I could still smell your wife's pussy stink on my gun. They go from that strong hatred to later in the movie where you feel sympathetic or you feel sorry for them. You're kind of rooting for them. And, you know, it's such a weird thing to go from that strong, um, intense dislike for these characters to being almost like, yeah, you know, like, triumphant, you're gonna fucking make it, and like, you know, like, it's sort of a weird thing, and the fact that Rob Zombie is able to do that with you in, you know, the period of two hours is, is pretty awesome, and difficult, like, not many, not many directors have been able to pull that off, and there have been a few that have tried. So, I thought that was really impressive. I really love, uh, Bill Mosley as Otis. The next word that comes out of your mouth better be some brilliant fucking Mark Twain shit it's definitely getting chisel on your tombstone. Um, and I really love him as, him as an actor, and I, I like the fact that he shows up in a lot of Rob Zombie films. Um, I think it's hilarious. I've read a lot online about people basically being in love with the character of Otis, and, and Bill Mosley has confessed to receiving a lot of fan mail for that character, which is kind of disturbing when you think about it because it's kind of like those women who write serial killers in prison but in any case he's a really cool character and uh, apparently Bill Mosley had a great time playing Otis which you know I can see um, there's a a little bit more room for comedy in this film in fact they did incorporate a little bit more humor with with some of the phrasing like in some of the scenes like there's sort of like a totally unnecessary scene but end up kind of being a little funny and kind of a little bit more normalizing where you know you've got baby and otis and uh hey, captain hey, spalding driving down the road and they see a sign for ice cream, cream and you know he says oh i want some ice cream and and then they start talking about tutti frutti and it's 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 so normalizing and kind of funny um 
and there's it's great that there's little moments like that within the film because it just sort of softens some of the brutality that you see and it makes it a little easier to, to watch. Um, overall, like I said, Devil's Rejects is probably my favorite Rob Zombie film. Uh, it's definitely up there for me in terms of, of favorite films that I have. It's a great horror movie. Um, it's very intense and, and all around awesome. So I definitely suggest that you check it out. So thank you so much for joining us for this treat of a horror movie review. And I will see you all tomorrow for another. My face is itchy. Okay.